Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Joshua and let me show you what we are going to make today. Alright, so open up your heat film. I'm using heat film express. Uh, make your composite shot. Uh, make your project. Um, 1080p, 60 frames per second. My project is going to be 10 seconds and create your project. All right, so uh, we've created our project. Uh, what I'm going to do first is to import some of the photos we are going to use. So I'll, I'll create a folder and name it uh, images. And then in this folder, I will drag some of the images that I got online. Just drag it in. And then put them in this folder and I'll go I'll create a composite shot and name it main uh, equally 10 seconds 1920 60 frames per second and then I'll also create another composite shot and I'll call it uh, scene 1 uh, 60 frames 10 that way and then I'll duplicate this scene 1 and rename it to scene 2 and then what I'm going to do is now create a folder call it a main composites and then this main and scene 1 and scene 2 I'll drag them into main this is just for proper organization and then I'll create another folder and call it image comps so um I'll open this image comp and create another composite shot, call it image one. One, equally 10 seconds, 60 frames per second in ATP. And then I'll drag it into image comps. And then I'll duplicate this image one uh, eight times to make nine because we are going to use nine photos. So I'll duplicate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'll just rename this composite shot. You can press F F2 to rename each and every composite shot. So I have renamed my composite shot. And so um, in this composite shot is simply to help us add images so that next time you want to change an image or maybe you want to change the pictures in your in your effect you can simply come and use this so i'll open image one then go to images and drag it in my photo uh, i'll scale it down to fit in properly like that close it open image comp two three let me just open all of them so i drag in all of them all right so i'll go to image two Open images, you can preview the images. I'll add in this one. Also scale it down a bit. Round there is okay. And image three, I drag it in this one, scale it down also. All right, image four, I'll drag it in this one. My photo wasn't. Uh, wasn't a landscape but it's no problem you can use even I uh, in this video 5 in this uh, composite 5 I think I'll add a video so I'll just open up again and then I'll add a video add it to these images so this one I'll use a video and uh, you'll understand why later on in the video scale it up a bit like that uh, in six, I'll add this one. Transform, scale it down. In seven, I'll add in this one. Scale it down. These images I got from unsplash.com. So if you want such images, you can go to unsplash.com. 
All right, then this one I'll add in also. I think that one was perfect. All right. So um, so far my composite shots are created: image one up to image nine. So I'll go into main uh, main composites, open main, and then open scene one. So this scene one, I'll drag it into main and then open it. And then I'll take all the image comps and drag them into scene one so that they are all in scene one. And then for scene two, what I'll do is I'll, I'll create a folder, call it uh, images two. This for our scene two, and then I'll duplicate all these and add into images two. Then images two. All right, so for scene two, I'll go into images two, composites, and select all of them and drag them into scene two. So we have our scene one and also our scene two. So these are basically just the same composites, but uh, I've divided them into two and you'll understand why. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, create a new point layer and call it uh, control one. So I'll parent all these composites to control one and then I'll take control. So we want to organize our photos into to fit in this uh, window, uh, nine photos to fit in this window. Remember the photos are in composites. So what I'm going to do now is uh, open scene one. You see it has all our images. Uh, what I'm going to do is create a point layer and call it, I'll just call it point layer and then select all the images and parent them to the new point and then simply scale down new point to 33.3 like that. And then so uh, if you select image one, I'll use uh, what we call layout. So I will just go to window uh, and select layout should be there uh -huh. so layout will help us to position our images into kind of a rule of third kind of a effect so what i'll do is i select image one click there put it on top select image two at the center uh sorry it should be up actually at the center uh, image three should be there and up image 4 should be on the left so i'll just do this and then i'll be back all right so uh i've done that for scene one and also i will go to scene two and do exactly that uh, you see for scene two is still not yet so i'll simply go into scene 2 create a point layer for scene 2 and then parent all these images to new point and then i'll simply scale down this new point to 3.3 and then i'll begin also arranging the way i did in the first composite and i'll be back shortly All right, so I'm done for scene two. So we have both our images arranged properly in scene one and in scene two. So now that remember the control point one was in this main composite and the other point layers are in the scenes composites. So what I'm going to do now is to simply arrange these scenes and what I'll use is this control point. So what I'll do is I'll go to scene two and transform at position, I will move it to the right. I think that's good. Actually, it should be 1920 to be exact. And then, good. So that is our position at the moment. Uh, if you check, if I select that, you'll see it's right there. So I'll scale to fit. So I will go to my control and go to two second, uh, three second mark. Then I'll put a curl keyframe, and then I'll move the two seconds. It's good. 
and then I'll put another scale keyframe. So go back to this keyframe and then just scale up to 300. And this one will help us to scale back and then as it moves to this position, it's scaled back to normal. So select these two keyframes, go to manual Bezier and then hold shift pull to the right and then slightly like that. That's cool. So we open this composite shot, we go to one second, we put a position keyframe, another position keyframe, I'll move 30 frames up to there and then I'll drag this composite shot to the left until the other one fits into it should be negative 1920 to be precise like that and then I'll put it to smooth easier uh-huh so that one is good and then that point I will I will go to scene 2 I will open scene 2 then go to my new point layer open the scale position at that same position I'll put a scale uh, position keyframe and then a scale keyframe also and then I'll move 120 frames and then I'll scale it back to 100 so this will zoom out the center image and then I'll put manual Bezier, go here, pull it to the left, sorry, this one, pull it to the right, and then this one, pull it to the right a bit, just to have a smooth curve. So that's simple, this is the way to look. So it will zoom in like that when the guy is dunking but one thing i want to do is uh i want this one this video i think this guy should dunk at that point exact that's what i want and then i'll close so uh so far that's how you create this effect um i'll just scale to fit so it comes in like that then the jumps it zooms out and then it moves left to this as and then it zooms in as it tanks so that's how you make such a wonderful cool effect and uh, remember to subscribe and also click the bell icon to receive notification whenever i upload a tutorial and also to motivate me to keep creating these tutorials. So thank you so much. Uh, see you in the next video. Peace.